Hi guys. That just sounds so... Mm. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a while and I missed you guys. I've missed filming. Um, I always feel like I have a story to tell when I come back, but I mean, that's why you click on here. Anyway, I just thought today I would show you how I do... Somebody walking down the street. I will show you how I do my everyday makeup when I am working in the office. So um, this is actually going to be a two-part video, not about the makeup, but um, about my health journey as well. So I'll just be kind of talking and showing you what I do, and then I might just kind of mention some of the things that's going to be coming up in an up video, uh, up video, an upcoming video. So let's get to it. So for those of you that are stopping by for the first time welcome you can go through my videos and you can kind of see some of the products that I generally uh, use are my staples so this is the benefit precisely my brow and this is in the shade 5 so shade 5 is like a black brown so it's not as black as my hair uh, so it's a little lighter so I don't know I just don't like for them to be too dark generally speaking so I go with that which is a lighter brown I do have a number six let me just show you the difference. I don't know if you can see that. So like this is what I use on my brows. Look at my, see my face and my hands are two different colors. So, and that's why I go with my, when I do my foundation, I match it to my neck because if my face is just darker than everything else, but I'm getting off track. Okay, so this is a number six. You can see the difference in how dark the color is. I if that's coming through on camera or not. But anyway. I can't see, I don't have my little wire hook up, but I hope that was in frame. If not, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So how have you all been? Hope you guys have been doing well. Like I stated, um, doing little short strokes here. And this is literally how I do my, my makeup every day. And it doesn't really take me that long in the mornings. So I just go in and I underline my brow there. And what I've been doing lately, just so my brows are not too thick when I get ready to do them, brush the hairs down, and I follow the natural outline of my bra, bra, brow. And I just brush them through, pull it through. Now, a mistake that I used to do when I did my brows was that I would bring my tail down too low and it would just kind of like make my eye droopy. So I try to keep my tail up higher, kind of like here. Try to keep my tail up higher and kind of lifts the eye. So again, I'll underline the brow here. I may break out in a sweat because y'all know I'm we went through perimenopause, so your girl will have a hot flash in a whole minute. Um, and I don't have the fan on because it'll be click, 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 clicking through the whole video. So just pay a no, never mind. So I, uh, oh my God, I know everybody's saying they gained weight through COVID, and I was definitely one of them. However, I also know that I was going through some. I don't want to call it unnatural weight gain, but some serious weight gain, meaning I was, wasn't was eating any more, but I was gaining weight at like an alarming rate. And I never really had a belly. And now I find myself with this whole like gut, like for real. So I had been buying like uh, things to snatch my waist in. Um, and see, there I go sweating. But I think they're looking good. Things to snatch my waist in where it used to be. Um, but it just was like going to, I'm like, what the heck? I was working out with a trainer and I was, I wasn't eating perfect, but I wasn't eating really bad either. But the way it just kept piling on, piling on, piling on. Your girl was still looking cute in her outfits though. Because uh, <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I do that. Just, just stay with me because I'm kind of all over the place. I wonder if I got ADHD. I mean, I don't think I do, but anyway. Um, using my palette here, and this is from um, Graftobian Glamour Cream Palette. Um, it's kind of, I've got two of them, one for my clients and one that I use for myself. So this is kind of funky looking, so I'm just using it on myself. And I'll go in and outline my brow here. What was I saying? So I was gaining an unnatural amount of weight. Now, 
I'm 45. I'll be 46 end of this month. So I knew that that probably is what that was. I might have full menopause, but um, I had a hysterectomy back when I was 38. So, yeah. I can't even put on my primer like I normally do before I start because I don't have the fan going in here. <sighs> oh, man, the joys. The joys, the joys, the joys. Anywho, I don't really want to say too much about that because I'll explain in an in upcoming video. And when I say upcoming video, I mean the video right after this one is going to be about my weight loss journey and the new FDA approved medication that the doctor has recently put me on to aid in my weight loss. So if you want to see more about that, um, check out the next video because I'm going to go into uh, full detail. Um, the reason why I want to go into that is because I haven't had a chance to, well not had a chance, I have not been able to find a lot of video about it. I mean, and the people that I have seen, um, you know, I've subscribed to a few of them, but some of them had had um, like um, gastric bypass surgeries and things like that previously, which not, not, I'm not knocking that. I mean, you do what you got to do, but um, we're on a similar journey as me, but I don't know. It was just a little different, you know. I've always been able to lose weight easily and keep it off for years, but this time it was just, it was just not letting me be. Anyway, I tap it here, and then I go in with that word off, my uh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and this is translucent. This is the white one. Can you see it? I can't tell if this is in frame or not. I'm so sorry if it's not. I can't tell. <laughs> I have my glasses on. Anyway, I use that. I tap my brush in. That way I can set it. And I'll just set it here. Go around to the next one. Get my little brush, outline my brows. So I noticed, like I said, I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos because my just, I've been busy, number one. And then with school, you know, went back to school, working, things like that. Um, just trying to get into a rhythm. Why are these two different colors? I used, I, shoot, I dipped it in two. See, I ain't got my glasses. I can't see. Yeah, I dipped that in two different colors. Oh, well, we don't make it do what it do. Um, but I've also been struggling, like, with depression and um, anxiety. And I'm like, what the heck? It's just been, like, it has been rough. So, anyway, I, um... It's just been harder and harder for me to like come out of it. So I went to the doctor and you know, I was just trying to do therapy and like get make sure I was getting enough rest. It just was not like letting me, it wasn't letting me be. I just couldn't, I don't like that harsh line right there. I could not, I couldn't seem to bounce back from it. Um, even when my parents passed away, both my parents, I was, not that you get over it, but I was able to kind of get back in the swing of thing. And I was doing videos and, you know, trying to, I was healing and trying to get through it. But this time, nothing was like necessarily setting me off, but I just couldn't get through it or over it. I, 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 not even, what am I saying? I couldn't get back to me. So I uh, went to the doctor and got a prescription for uh, anxiety and um, depression, and that seemed to help. So all of this was stemming from me going through perimenopause, which, you know, if you guys know anything about that, it lowers your estrogen, and your estrogen, you know, that's a hormone which is responsible for your mood and weight gain, tend to weight, gain weight around your middle and things like that. And um, if you're susceptible to 
you know, mental health issues, then it just kind of intensifies it. And obviously, I didn't have too many people to really talk about it. I was researching it and, you know, just doing my due diligence trying to figure out what was going on with myself and found that that was indeed the case. I'm like, this is some bull. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing about it like, ha ha, but like, for real, like if you've gone through this or if you my age or older, then we are here. My poor husband. I mean, the high flashes. I just... Shout out to my husband because he's been the, 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 he the hero in this story because <laughs> I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Um, what I use on top of my brow is this color here, as you can see, it's, which is the, this is dark coffee. This is Maybelline Fit Me and I use this over my brow so that I don't have the halo effect. So it's a little bit closer to my skin tone. So I'll use a shorter brush here to kind of outline. I feel like I got a line right here, which I didn't mean to do because I dipped into the wrong color. Um, yeah. And also, when you're doing your everyday makeup routine, most people don't have a lot of time to be doing all this. So it doesn't really take, it takes me about 20, 23 minutes in the morning to do my makeup like this. I'm just taking it a little longer now because I'm like talking about other random stuff. See how that blend like right on top? You really can't like tell. So you don't really get the halo brow, which I don't like that. That's not a look for me. Okay, so then next, I go into my Juvia's Place Chocolate Palette. Like this is literally the, the palette that I use every single day. Can't really tell, but it's been really used and really loved. I use usually the same type of uh, my makeup tools. I use this Juvia's Place uh, Smudger brush. It's real. I like it because it's like real thick. It's thick. I like that. Um, and I just go into this color here, which is the darker of the colors. I don't know what that is. What that it doesn't have the colors on the back. Yeah, it doesn't say. But anyway. Just rub it, go in, and I just start to pat. Now, what's very important about this look, again, you can wear it every day. You can dress it up, dress it down, but this is exactly how I do it. So, now you see my head, my heads, my lids are like pretty hooded today. So, here, you can see that little hunk of flesh right there. So what I do is, you know, I have my face relaxed like this, and then I'll, like where the hood is, I'll make sure I go up above that just a little bit more. And it doesn't have to be neat. Like, I do that because I don't want that hood to be as prominent. So I take it up just a little bit. See how they look? Crazy, but it's right above the hood, which is where I want it. Then, I go in with a plain brush, clean brush, and I just kind of go around the edges. So, and I do that because I want to soften the edges up. What brush is this? Morphe. Just literally go around the edges. So what I was going to say was, because I was sweating earlier, um, I've got oily skin, so I've already moisturized and all that other good stuff on my skin. Um, but I use the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I hope this is coming in. My, I, I literally can't see. I, ugh, I can't see. I'm so sorry. But I go in first, and I just start to smooth this on my skin. I can put it on now because I finally stopped sweating. When I tell you that, it's the worst. Oh, my God. That's probably the worst part is is this is that your body will just heat up 
and it, disrupt, it disrupts your sleep as well. Okay, I know I look crazy, but I like to have that sitting and prop, you know, propped up on my face so that can just start soaking in. Then I go back into the Juvia's Place palette with another brush, and I'm going into this orange, dark, reddish, brownish shade here. And with that, I go around where I just went in with the clean brush to soften it up. And again, that's on the edges. On the edges, like so. If you feel like you start to lose a little bit of that color on your lid, just go back in. Darken it like that. So then, I'll go in with, I don't even need about three brushes. I'm just, for time's sake, I usually use about three brushes. Glass shade is a shade here. Go in, knock off the excess, and I go right up under my brow. And it's so easy to do. Just going back up. That's it. Right on the brow. So I'll do that. And then lastly, I'll go in with this shade here. This is like a shimmery shade there. It's real pretty. And I'll just tap that right on the lid. Like that. It's supposed to be easy, so it's not like anything precise. So once I get that on there, and I hope I'm not rushing or like going through it too fast. Like this is literally how I'm getting dressed in the morning. I'll take either a black or a brown um, eyebrow pencil, and this one is the Mac Feline Cold Pencil, and I'll just go through, not making a line, but kind of go through my lid through the lashes and I'll start prepping my lashes it's my favorite work lashes these are the kiss lashes and this is in the um, type pompadour I've got so many empty ones here like this is my favorite because the lash band is thin and I usually wear them maybe two or three times and then I move on to like the little next pair two or three times and move on to the next pair so I take them off every day with uh, my seltzer water because it just breaks down that glue and just pulls off so you do not have to worry about like not having no eyelashes by the end of the week. <laughs> so I'm prepping my lashes, just put the glue and everything on there, So, which is what I would generally do. Um, and while that is um, drying, I'll start working on the rest of my makeup. So that black line for my eyeliner, I'll go in and just kind of smudge it just so there's no harsh lines or anything. Let me know in the comments, how long does your makeup routine normally work or normally take? Is it a long time? Do you have to get up like super early? I get up early just because I like to take my time because I, I actually do enjoy like putting on makeup is relaxing. And if you're sitting here watching this, maybe it's relaxing to watch, and maybe it's just not relaxing to do. Maybe it's just, like I said, relaxing to watch. Oh my God. See, I try to put the little baby hairs down before I start feeling just to make it look like something. And now, this has got to be glued. This, 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 this uh, hot flash is pulling up the got to be glued. You got to be kidding me. Like, once I smudge that, I'll go with an oldie but goodie. And this is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I like it because if your table is a mess, it's always easy to find. Plus, it works really good. I do this before I put my lashes on. Um, so your lashes will blend in and any like eyeshadow or anything like that that you may have put on. Especially if, you, especially if you're using a lighter color. Um, sometimes it'll drop down in your lashes. So, go ahead and do that. Plus, it helps the... Um, the eyelash band blend and uh, it helps them sit propped up on there. So I'll do that. That's still drying because you don't want to put that lash on while it's still wet. So you sit it to the side and start letting it get like tacky, like glue almost. You know? 
Next, I'll spray my brush. And this is not the setting spray I usually use. I normally use the, uh, the MAC Pepper Prime. Where the heck is it? Anyway, just spray that a little bit. And I went to Sephora to get a sample. And this is the, um, what do you call it? The NARS um, semi dry or semi matte or red. I can't think of the name of it, but it wasn't the right color. So um, just because I didn't want to waste it, it was just too red for me. I'll show you what I mean. So I've been just using that because see how red that is on my skin. And it's not bad because it's almost like a um, color corrector. So like, I ain't mad at it, but I wouldn't put it all over my face because it's so red. Anyway, I've been using that. And the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection. I've been using this as my foundation. I just dab it. Dab it, dab it, dab it. And go in. I don't put it up under my eyes because I just wait for my um, concealer to go up under there. I was using a um, beauty blender at first, um, but I don't know. I feel like it was just taking me longer to do that. Now you see how long this is in real time. If you haven't learned how to put your lashes on, because it took me a while too, I've got some videos. I'll try to link it if I can. Just look down. This way. Wrong eye. Wrong eye. Put them girls on. They were not listening. They were cooperating. Um, also, I just bought this e.l.f. Uh, sponge and it's shaped totally different from a regular sponge. So this is the how they normally are, but this is dry, but yeah. And it gets right up under there. I really like it. It's super soft. So if you haven't tried that, I would definitely suggest it. Okay. Okay. I like it. Uh, next, I go in with my Born This Way Multi Sculpting Use Concealer, and I use the color Chestnut. That's why I don't use a lot of foundation up under there. Nose. So I did that, and I wasn't putting it here because I feel like it was just smearing everywhere. I don't know, maybe I just wasn't doing it right. Um, and then for under my eyes, since it's for the daytime, because it's going to work, I'm going to look you up cute and professional or whatever. Um, I, I use the NYX uh, Professional Makeup Wonder Pencil, and I don't know what shade this is. This is like the oh, light shade. It's not white, but it is pretty light, and I use that up under my eye. It just looks fresh. And make you look awake. When your baby be tired. And I'll go up in with this little sponge here. And it is damp. And I just blend it out. I like this um, foundation, this concealer, because it does blend out like super easy. I see how it gets like right up under there. Then I'll use my Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep, and I use that to set my entire face really lightly. Yeah. The big powder brush. So I do that, and then after I've done with that, then I go in with another. Um, 
translucent uh, powder by um, who's this? Laura Mercier. 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 This is the brown shade. The other one that I was using is this one here. And I was using it to set my brows or my lid. And so this one. I don't go too bright up under my eyes for work. Yeah. And I don't bake. I just literally go right up under and press it in. And then I lightly tap here, lightly tap here. So we start to look like something. We just, we almost, like I said, we almost near the end, y'all. This time I'm using the uh, Minted Cosmetics, and this is the Bronzer in Yacht Life. Come on. It looks like that. Get a big old fluffy brush. And bronze. Again, I'm adding a huge brush because I'm just adding bronzer to my face. And structure and dimension and all that jazz. So looks like good. Once that's done, I'll go in what I'm missing. Oh. Under the eyes. So the same palette, the Genius Place Chocolate Palette, I go right up under my eyes with the same shades that I was using here. And it's just not really neat. I just go up under there. So I'm like naked up under the eyes. And the contrast with the like the light eyeliner with this shade here. But I don't want to forget to go up under the lashes with that. Also, my bronzer um, kind of doubles as a blush because I don't add blush every day. I don't. I, just, I do not. No, I do not. Um, then I'll get that. I got this little Becca one. This is in the color. What is this? Opal. And it's a highlighter. They didn't have the big one. I thought I was ordering the big one, but they sent me this little one. Like, what? I thought I was ordering this size, but when it came, it was this size. Okay, but nevertheless, I'm gonna go in using this Wayne Goss brush. These Wayne Goss, first of all, these things was expensive as I don't know what, but they are the softest brushes I have ever had in my life or ever yet. <sighs> anyway, okay, I'll top it there. And then I go in like so. I don't like for it to be too, too, too crazy. So sometimes I'll go over it with my uh, foundation brush just to kind of tone it down just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. So once I do that, still filming. Uh, where did it go? Oh, I'll go in with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I feel like I'm looking all over the place. I'm looking here. I'm looking there. It's been a while, y'all. Just hang with me. I got and then I uh, set this so that my skin doesn't look too powdery. So how I get on my neck? Yeah. Nope, I'm not done with lips. For lips, I take Fenty. I use two colors. This is uh, Unveil and Unbutton. Use these two because it's like, like a natural matte look, and I use the unbutton because it's brown, and I use that as a lip liner. Then I go in with light shade. middle what did my lashes come down not bad huh 
Then I'll put a little wig on or whatever, and then I'll be looking like cute. Y'all want to see it with the wig? Okay, let me take this one off, and I'll be right back. Uh, this literally is, I will finish up my makeup spray and out the door with my uh, work clothes on, but this is um, one of the wigs I'll wear um, to work. And, um, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, I've been using short wigs because they get hot. But yeah, this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'll talk more about my weight loss journey in my next video. So if you want to learn more about that or maybe pick up some tips or some added information, if you are in a similar um, situation, then yeah, go ahead and check out the next video. Again, thanks so much for coming to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, thanks for taking out the time out of your day to watch and I'll see you guys in the next one.